specialist and the topic that I would like to discuss today is Christmas and the festivities of Christmas and, and New Year's. First of all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Um, New Year's is uh, two days away or three days away. Christmas is behind us. So this is this is for English speaking friends. Since uh, actually Christmas and New Year's and everything related to Jesus is an Arab Islamic affair. Since the man himself is Palestinian and since this is part of our history and culture. But not only that, it is, a, it is an essential part of Islam itself. Why? Things don't seem that way. It seems that this is a Western affair, a Christian affair, not a Muslim Arab affair. So why am I saying such uh, strange things? It gets even stranger. The reason why is because Muhammad himself was a Christian. <laughs> now many of you are going to think it has become completely illogical. The truth is, the only thing logical, the only logical narrative for religion is the one you're going to hear here, what I see. Everything else has been systematically in a systematized, huge effort over in the entirety of, uh, of the last 2,000 years or so systematically uh, destroyed. An entire culture has been destroyed and redefined to become something else, which is completely illogical. But the facts are seldom told. <coughs> Muhammad himself, as a, as a young boy, was, was taught by Christian by, by priests, by uh, the priest he met at least as a young boy is, is known as Buhaira, the name of the priest. As you, as you grow older, uh, he was entrusted with, with the wealth and trade of Arab Christians of Mecca. Khadija, the woman he later married, was an Arab Christian. And uh, even he, his children are from her solely, from an, a Christian woman. Uh, he married, his marriage was a Christian marriage and a Christian ceremony conducted by a Christian priest who was Khadija's nephew. His name was Waraq ibn Nawfal. <coughs> now he's entrusted with her money, he married her, and then he had his children from her, and his, his only male child died, so he adopted a son who was a Christian boy. Zaid. Now, after that, comes Islam, after his marriage. The Qur'an was revealed upon him, to him. And uh, the West takes, Western sources start taking notice of Muhammad, and they call him a Christian. Of course, to the West, Arab Christianity, which is Christianity, is heresy. For the simple reason that Arab Christian does not consider Jesus anything but a prophet, exactly like Muhammad, and this predates <coughs> uh, 
Western Christianity by at least 300 years. Adoption of this and corruption of that, which they called heresy and was forbidden. So they call Muhammad a, a Christian Arab heretic. These are the Western sources. Now the Quran itself, once it was revealed upon him, mentioned Jesus much, much more than mentions Muhammad, the name itself. Something like uh, maybe uh, over over 25, probably uh, the name Jesus himself, whereby Muhammad is, is, a, is a mere three or something like that. The name. That's the name. That's other than the entire Christian, Arab Christian narrative of the history, which is, which is the history and geography of Palestine, which is the entire, uh, the vast majority of the Quran itself. <coughs> That's the Quran. Muhammad throughout his life before Islam was revealed upon them and after prayed towards Jerusalem, the Holy Land. <coughs> Terra Santa was Terra Santa to Muhammad. And it remained so after the after the Quran was revealed. And uh, when Muhammad took over Mecca, conquered Mecca, the first Muslim pilgrimage which is the way pilgrimage, Muslim pilgrimage, should be. The first Muslim pilgrimage under Muhammad was to circumambulate an empty room, the Kaaba, with one thing in it, which Muhammad kept in it, an icon of Jesus. And uh, the, the, uh, <coughs> the circumambulation, including the direction of prayer, although it was later changed to Mecca, it, it remained towards an empty room with one thing in it because Muhammad destroyed all the idols in it and kept the icon of Jesus in it. So upon revelation, of course, the Quran itself, as I said, mentions Jesus much more than Muhammad and it calls him a Muslim. The Quran uh, mentions Jesus Christ and his disciples as Muslims. So it uses the word interchangeably. Christ is derived from the Arabic word Messiah. And of course, uh, Western sources also have corrupted that. They use Hebrew or Aramaic as a reference. Actually, all these Semitic languages have one reference, which is Arabic, because even for Hebrew, the dictionary, the lexicon for Hebrew, including a grammatical structure and uh, poetic meters, is all Arabic. It's the Arabic dictionary. So it's derived from Messiah in Arabic, which which is uh, which means Christ in in Greek. So uh, the Quran uses Messiah or Muslim as one and the same word. Of course, that's what Arab Christians consider because they because they consider Muhammad a Christian, and he considered himself so. So calling him a Muslim is the same thing. It's not a different word. And there's another word that they used to, to denote that prior to Muhammad, which is Hanif. Also, they call themselves Hanifs, not Christians. And it, the term Christian itself was imposed by, superimposed by the West upon Arabs uh, to relate them to themselves, to, the, to Western Christianity, and to denote them as heretics. It's not that's not uh, the, the Quranic narrative, nor is it the historical fact. The fact is. <coughs> that Muhammad was a Christian as were all Hanifs before him. We come to New Year's. New Year's is a celebration of the circumcision of Jesus, which of course is an Arab tradition, an Islamic tradition. And uh, it means nothing really to the West because they don't get circumcised or it's not a necessity. It's an Arab Islamic necessity. So it's it's actually quite ironic that uh, Muslims consider this not their affair, of course. If you don't know enough Arabic and you don't know Arab history and culture, this means nothing to you if you're a Turk or a Persian or some type of person who claims to be a Muslim who knows nothing of Arab history and, and culture. Islam is Arab history and culture and it, it, it is not only inclusive of, of Jesus actually, Jesus is central.
to the Quran itself, as I said, mentioned much more than Muhammad is, including the history of Palestine, and it is, of course, Palestinian Arab history, which is not up for Western adoption.